Next question is from Rebel Hammond. Can you tell us your thoughts on the farmer's walk? They are so simple, yet I don't see a lot of people incorporating them into their routine. Yeah, I never, I never thought. I, I, I you know, Justin got, I Justin, love them. Justin got us. Oh, yeah. totally. I so I didn't have. Uh, I thought of farmer's walks like a trainer. You know, like okay, it's good for stability. It's good for hand strength. Strengthens the back. Um, it makes your body tight. Like I, the core core activation. It's great for that. Like I understood it from a trainer perspective, but I'd never understood it from an experience perspective. Because I never made it a part of a. I'd done them before, but the way I do them would be like occasionally if I'm gonna have fun with somebody in our workout or whatever. Never train them. Then we wrote the Maps Strong program. Now Maps Strong was a, a, a workout program that was strongman inspired, and a big part of strongman training is farmer walks, and that's part of their competition. Uh, you know, when they compete, they have to carry things in their hands and walk with them. Mm-hmm. So I worked my way up to almost 500 pound trap bar farmer walks, and I was training them consistently. And I could not believe the muscle that I was building from doing them. It turned my whole body on. My traps, my back, the the muscles, of course, of the forearms and hands, shoulders. My legs got tight. I could feel my core working. Um, I developed a brand new respect for the farmer's walk. And I consider it to be definitely a top 15, if not a top 10 exercise that people can do. Yeah, much like when you bring up the story about uh, mail carriers and your family and like how that inspired you to, uh, you know, come up with trigger sessions and uh, saw what that did in terms of muscle development. Uh, I, the same with me in terms of playing with certain types of athletes uh, in my career uh, with various sports that I was in. I always noticed there was a certain type of. Uh, you know, of athlete that just had this inner power, this inner strength that was far superior than the other athletes. And most, most of them that I had, had, you know, experienced and had met were from different farm towns and different places where manual labor was like really rigorous manual labor uh, was, was a part of their, their growing up. And it, it's just one of those things, building up this work capacity and building up this, this, this work strength. Um, it, it's, it's something that I think a lot of people don't really recognize how that also like it, it really translates into your overall strength, which then, you know, propels you forward even more. So to add uh, that in as something that you can frequently work on and and do it at the right dose uh, to where it's not going to impede on, uh, you know, the intensity of your, you, you know, your regular foundational workouts. Uh, it, it's going to it's going to get you uh, to be able to endure uh, longer bouts of really strenuous type work in the gym. Well, think about it like this. Um, we've made the case for isometrics on this podcast many a times, right? And I think that we all agree on the value of it and how undervalued is- the isometric exercises are. Name me an, I- an isometric exercise that is as that is as intense. And I know farmer walks you're moving, so people don't think of it as an isometric exercise. But think about from your traps down to your fingertips, down to your toes with a load, which most people can carry 200 to 500 plus mm-hmm. pounds. Name me something that is that intense isometrically on your entire body from neck to your toes. Yeah, right, and the posterior chain, which again, we all try to you know voice that quite a bit. Like we don't consider uh, movements throughout the day to activate and uh, you know gain connection with your posterior chain very often. And so this is this is another way to really bring That's, that into your everyday. It, it lights life. up everything, everything from the neck to the fingertips to, to the toes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Name me one part of the body when you're holding 500 pounds and walking 30 yards that is not completely everything's involved everything is connected everything is lighting at at an intense level it's not like a plank it's also one of the most functional exercises i mean you are going to do that in life you are going to pick things up walk with them and hold them and so it's a very fun you get strong at farmer walks you just are strong well we and you've given the analogy that uh you know i've repeated a million times sal with the whole uh you know speaker and amplifier you know, I would argue that it's probably one of the the best, uh, you know, ways to invest in your amplifier. Yeah. Of all the, the central the, nervous system. Yeah. The, of all the things that you could do to really strengthen your central nervous system, uh, heavy farmer carries have to be up there mm-hmm. with one of the top three, if not the top one. Yeah, juice up them amplitudes. 